Hi and welcome to my next video of my at home creative fun tutorials. Um, today we are going to be making an Anzac Day poppy bunch as you can see here. So poppies are usually worn on Remembrance Day however they still hold a special significance um, as they are a symbol of remembrance of the freedom that we have today because of what um, the soldiers have sacrificed for us. Now the reason that poppies are used as a remembrance symbol is because they were the very first thing to grow back on the battlefields after the, some of the wars were over. So you would have had these um, battlefields that were just muggy and, and dirt and mud from soldiers running over them and then when everything had finished and there was a bit, there was peace, uh, the grass grew back, a beautiful green grass grew back and these bright red poppies. Um, started to bloom. It would have been a beautiful sight and that's why they are one of the symbols. Now I know that this year in 2020 our Anzac Day rituals are going to look a little bit different to what we normally do. So I encourage you to create this craft. You can create it however you want. You can do it on a canvas like I have. You can cut out a big circle and make a reef. Um, but I do encourage you whatever you make today um, I encourage you to maybe place on your mailbox on the 25th or maybe in your living room just some way for your family or people to see your, the poppies and just be reminded and be able to keep today, um, sorry, the 25th special. So with that in mind, let's get started. These are the things that you're going to need. We will be using an empty egg carton to make poppies. You are definitely going to need scissors. There will be a lot of cutting involved, so you might need your parents' help. We are going to need a sponge oh, and a paintbrush. You are going to need, um, need something to use as the um, stems. So this is just pipe cleaner. If you don't have those, you can find anything else. Maybe painted green if you like, whatever works, but these, these are a lot of fun. Uh, you will need, I used some leftover kind of like tissue paper that I got, um, I received a gift. Uh, so that's great, so that's for the middle of the poppy. Anything, you can just use black paint, a black button. Um, pretty much anything black that's gonna fit in the middle will work. You are going to need glue. I just use PVA glue for this because that's usually the easiest thing to find. Um, you can use other types of glue, hot glue gun for example, you can definitely use, but this is usually what everyone has lying around. If not, maybe you can use blue tack. <laughs> um, the other things that you're going to need is paint. So obviously you will need blue for the background. You will need green. Um, I have some yellow here because I need to mix my paint. And you will also need red, obviously. You will also need some ribbon. You can choose whatever color you want. Um, I went with green, so I think it worked really well. But let's get started. Okay, so this is how we start. The very first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your canvas. So like I said before, you can have a canvas like mine. Uh, it can be a piece of cardboard, it could be paper, um, but it also could be a donut shape that you could turn into a wreath. You are going to paint this first thing so that it has time to dry. So I did a very simple blue sky and green grass. So you're going to get your blue paint and your paintbrush and you are going to go pretty much, I'll go just above the halfway mark. Okay, so when you're happy with the amount of sky you have, your next step will be your green. I like to use a sponge for grass usually because it gives it a nice texture effect, um, a bit like, like it was actually grass. So um, if you do get a sponge, you can use your paintbrush and you can dab your paintbrush if you like, but if you have a sponge, dip it into your paint, um, put quite a lot of paint down first, and then you are just going to sponge like so. Don't get too close to the line just yet. Make sure you fill out all of the other spaces first. 
but giving it that nice dab is going to make it texturized, which is nice. Once you've done that you'll see that uh, if you use the sponge you just go over the blue a little bit and you're going to have a nice um, texture of grass there. So what we're going to do now we're just going to pop it to the side and we're going to let it dry. Okay so next thing we're going to do is we are going to cut out our poppies. So you're going to need your egg carton and some scissors. Now don't forget uh, this part can be a bit tricky so you might need your parents help. I'm going to speed it up again. Okay, so you are going to only need about three. You can do two, you can do more, it's up to you and the size of your canvas. But right now, this is what it's gonna look like after you cut it out. It's not gonna look any good at all, but we can make it work. So, as you can see, we already have about two petals happening here. Um, so all you have to do is cut, you're gonna cut like a V shape out of this one and you're gonna make four petals. Okay, I'll just show you in this one and then I'll speed up the others. So there's my V and that has produced four petals. Now it's still not going to look very nice so what you have to do is you have to shape your petals. So you're going to get your scissors and you are just going to, you can just do a nice circle. I like to do a bit of a wave to it, give it a petal like look. But you are just going to cut, cut those petals and just make them look a little bit rounder, a little bit nicer. Yeah. And give them a bit of a wave if you like. Okay, and that is going to be pretty much your first flower. Now, um, what you are also going to do is you are just going to gently press the cardboard out a bit to help you create your petal. Don't press down too far because that will rip your cardboard. But we can just push them out a little bit. Okay, so you are going to do that maybe two more times and then we will get to painting them soon. So I'm gonna speed this up real quick. Okay, so now you have your three flowers and what you're going to do next is you are going to paint them. So you're going to need to get your paintbrush, you're going to need your red paint and you just pretty much get started. This part can get a little bit messy um, because you have to get to each part of the flower. You don't have to paint the bottom part here but it's up to you. So you can hold, um, pinch there, paint on the inside, place it upside down and you can paint on the outside. 
that is the cleanest way to do it. Always try to have a rag handy so that if you do get it on yourself like I do all the time, you can just kind of give your hands a quick wipe. So your next step now is to make your stems. So you are going to get your three either pipe cleaners or something that has been painted green and you are just going to start to bind them together. So what we're going to do is you're going to make sure that your area is clean. This patch is pretty clean for me. But you are going to want to make sure that at least on the top here your um, three pipes are level and you are going to grab your ribbon you are just going to tie them all together. So try, you might need to measure at this point on your canvas um, just to make sure that you get the height correct because uh, these are going to be a bit long on mine. So what you're going to do here is try to make them somewhat level. Um, I might bring my bow down a little bit. Make sure they are straight. And I am going to tie them off. Okay. You can make it as tight as you like. It doesn't need to be that tight, but it does help. Now, at this point, if you want to, you could swing it around and make it a bow. It's up to you. I don't know if I really like my bow, <laughs> but it might work. Okay. So what you're going to do now, so this is going to be the front. So I'm just going to stretch these out a little bit. Make them look a little bit more like stems. Okay. And these ones, I am going to want my flower, my flowers to be one on the top and two at the side. So I'm just going to bend these nicely. Okay, and there we go. And that is your bunch created. Okay, so you have just finished making your bunch of stems. Now you're going to grab your canvas. Hopefully it's dry by now. Mine is still a tiny little bit damp, but that's okay because I'm just doing an example. Um, so you are going to want to place things down on your canvas first, just so you get an idea of where you want everything to go. So, for me, I'm probably going to have mine just about there because I want my poppies one to be up here and another. The others are going to be towards the side. So depending on the amount of room you have, you might need to um, cut your um, pipe a little bit more or you can just give it a bit of a twist give it a bit of a bend. there you go so that I'm pretty happy with that um, when these are more dry I'm going to bring the uh, petals out a little bit more but that is how I want everything to sit so I'm going to grab my glue this is just PVA glue, don't forget. If you have other glue, go for it. Um, but just keep in mind that PVA glue takes quite a while to dry. So I'm going to grab my flowers and I'm gonna put them down first. So I'm gonna give it quite a generous amount of glue. And I'm just going to press it down a bit. Now don't forget PVA glue um, also dries clear, so 
another great thing about it. So even if you see some on your canvas here, it's going to be okay. So what you're going to do now, um, you are going to put a fair amount of PVA glue on the back here. Try to keep it where the ribbon is because that's most likely where it will stick. But pipe cleaners can be a little tricky. So I'm gonna make sure a lot of it is where the end of my bow is. Okay, it's so the same thing. I'm just gonna press it, press it down firmly. Okay. So now, very carefully, I'm going to find my tissue paper. I'm just going to rip it up a little. I'm just going to make a ball out of my tissue paper. Pretty okay size. And I'm just going to put more PVA glue down. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my poppy. So there we have it. So when um, when everything dries, you are going to um, you can trim those, so cut those back, or you can leave them. I think it looks kind of cool. But that is your finished product. This is only the beginning of this series, so make sure that you follow me on social media or subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of this at-home creative fun. I would love to see what you have created by following my tutorials, so find me on Facebook and share what you have made.